We are so excited at the ministry to bring to you great, great, great news of all that God has done this year. We owe this to the Lord to give him gratitude for his faithfulness this first year. I know it's not one year completely, but we've seen God do far beyond what we have ever asked or we have thought. You know, the scripture says that it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto his name. Don't blame us. We are excited. Our attire shows we are grateful to the Lord for what he has done. To all of our partners who have given, uh, sown seeds of time, of resources, of prayers, we are extremely grateful. And so we bring this video out and release this video just to show our gratitude to the Lord and to all of our partners around the world. In less than one year, we've seen what we can only uh, be amazed of. The Lord has helped us as a ministry to convey nine meetings this year. And so we've had four awakened meetings. We've had three Ignite meetings. We've had one Kingdom Come Crusade meeting. And of course, we've had the most recent Bethel. This is a brief summary of what we've seen the Lord do as we have rolled the curtain for our events for the year. Nine is far beyond what we plan to do the first year. You would remember that we began in the month of January, right in the Federal Capital Territory, the first Awaken, and that was Awaken Abuja. And then we moved from there to the first Ignite that held right in Delta State, Ignite Delso. We had a glorious time there. And then we moved from there to the ancient city of Ibadan for the first and only Kingdom Come Crusade. We look back at Ibadan and we are grateful to the Lord for the lessons learned and for all that he did in our midst. And then we move from there to the second awakening, which was an international meeting, the first international meeting of the ministry. And that was in Accra, Ghana. Oh my God. It was such an amazing time that we had those three days, unforgettable time in the city of Accra, in Ghana. And then uh, we moved in the month of May to the second Ignite program, which was University of Ilori. Wow. <laughs> we look back and we thank God for his faithfulness of all he did in the University of Ilori. From the challenges we faced uh, to the ups and downs in planning and preparing to having to move the meeting off the campus venue that we had initially chosen. And that still stands as one of the greatest Ignite programs, of course, that we have seen uh, so far in the ministry. And of course, we move from there to the prestigious and ancient Obafemi Awolowo University, OAU. That was the third Ignite for the year. And wow, we look back. Great lessons learned. The Lord moved in our midst. We've kept learning across and along the way. But God has been extremely faithful to us. After um, the OAU, we moved on to the next awakening. That's the third awakening for the year. And that was in the city of um, Lokoja in Kogi State. An amazing, explosive time that we had there. And then, of course, we moved to the second international meeting of the ministry in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe was explosive. We saw great, great, great numbers surrender their lives to the, to the Lord. We saw miracles. We saw signs. We saw mantles literally rest upon people in Zimbabwe. Uh, we were in Bulawayo. We were in um, other parts of the city, met with leaders, met with ministers, had the privilege to speak uh, in, in one of the most prominent churches in, in, in the city of Harare, Zimbabwe, an amazing time. Uh, partners gathered, partners stood with the ministry, and all kinds of great things happened that we will never, never forget. And then, of course, the final meeting after Zimbabwe was the most recent Bethel. 
which served as a conclusion to all that God has done this year. It was a great time of retreat. We had a great time together, hours spent in prayer, in worship, uh, in the word. Uh, the Lord took us on the mystery of dwelling in the wilderness and visiting the city. All kinds of great things happen. Now, this is a summary of what the Lord has done. This is one year, less than one year. Officially, the Lord released us and commissioned us to go uh, into this next phase of ministry at the end of November last year. I bring to you this good report, and this is barely the middle of October uh, in one year. God has truly truly been faithful. What else have we seen? The Lord blessed us with a ministry office. The Lord blessed us with equipment for multimedia. Uh, God has just been extremely faithful. Now, this is it. This is what happens when a person, a man or woman, young or old, receives a vision from the Lord, believes the vision, and pursues the vision. Never wait for people to believe in what the Lord has shown to you. You are the first believer of any vision that the Lord has placed in your heart. We've seen God do amazing things. We've had the privilege in just one year, aside the meetings we've conveyed, to be in three continents spreading the news of the gospel. Of course, Africa, uh, where we are as the mission base of this ministry. Uh, the Lord opened great doors for us in Australia. The Lord opened great doors for us in Europe, just in one year of believing God. This is truly the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. Psalm 118 verse 23. Ah, I'm just so grateful to the Lord. This is the heart of gratitude that we've come with to communicate His faithfulness, to celebrate His goodness, because this is not the doing of any man. It is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. I'm reminded at this point of Luke 1 45. The Bible says, blessed is she that believeth, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her of the Lord. This is less than one year. Everything the Lord spoke to us about this first year, we have seen far more come to pass. Remember, for those who have followed this ministry from the beginning, the Lord told us that this is the year of the Holy Ghost and fire. Oh my God, have we seen the fire of the Holy Spirit in every meeting? Yes, we have. There is not one meeting that we have held as a ministry or that we have been invited to where we did not see massive salvation of souls. Our record shows all kinds of amazing things, but that's not the purpose of this video. This video is just to give us a, 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 a brief oversight of what God has done. Hundreds over Hundreds of thousands have been privileged to hear the gospel that the Lord has given to us for a generation. We've seen thousands upon thousands fall before their face and crying for repentance. There is joy in heaven over one soul that repents. So we, we join the heavens today in excitement and in gratitude to the Lord for what he has done in the Isaac Oedipo Evangelistic Ministries, also known as Anazeu generation connect can you wait for what next year holds i'm excited about it the lord has already begun speaking to us about next year i want you to be a part of all that god is doing your prayers have not been wasted your resources have not been wasted there's nothing you've given to the ministry that has been for our own personal benefit we're out pursuing the mandate that the lord has given to us by the way that we've concluded our meetings for the year that the ministry is conveyed doesn't mean that we are not having invitations that we are honoring. We have about maybe 10 uh, other meetings that we've been invited to to spread the gospel that the Lord has, has given to us. By the end of the year, that, that's going to be an amazing number of places that we have been with the same message, the message to a generation, to reclaim a generation, restore the fire, and revive the people. So you can join us. Uh, we'll be all over the place uh, for the remaining months of the year. We'll be in Kano with Apostle Femi Lazarus. We'll be in... Um, 
Togo at the end of the year. We will be in uh, Port Harcourt uh, for a crusade that we've been invited to. We'll be in Calabar. We'll be in Uyo, uh, several places. Um, so whenever you see that we have been invited, even though it is not a meeting the ministry is conveying, the message remains the same. Join us, spread the word, and we look forward to communicating with you by the end of the year with more details and information about what the Lord has done. Of course, you want to partner with us. All the information will be below your screen. You can join us, but we're excited. There is nothing the Lord has told us that we haven't seen come to pass. It is said that they failed not of the things which the Lord spoke to David. He said, all have come to pass. Thank you for believing in God. Thank you for believing in this ministry. Thank you for trusting us with your resources, trusting us with the mandate that we've claimed to have received of the Lord and are pursuing. We want you to know that we're excited and we thank you. And of course, all gratitude first and foremost goes to God Almighty. God bless you. Till we meet again. Bye-bye.